Hey everybody, Dirilly here. Thank you for checking out my audio log with my current new updates. First, I want to mention that I'm taking a short break from Thief, but I'm not quitting it. If anyone out there has been paying attention, you may have noticed that I've been uploading four videos a day. This is because I want to always run one visual novel and one stealth or horror game at the time at the same time. But there were three visual novels that came out, three really good big visual novels that came out around the same time here. The Men of Yoshiwara, uh, Code Realized Guardian of Rebirth, and Norn 9 Var Commons. Now, I'm totally exhausted and running myself ragged here, but uh, it's so important to play new games when they first come out, especially for someone like me who's just starting out. I stand a much better chance of getting a few views. And Dandelion was almost finished, so I didn't want to drop that, so I decided to give Thief a short break. So for some time now, I've been waking up at like 10 o'clock in the morning, work all day long, and uh, until about 3 o'clock in the morning, I go to bed. And thanks to that, I have now finished recording and editing all the rest of Dandelion, uh, but I'll continue to just release one episode a day so I don't just flood flood my channel, you know, by dumping it all at once. So now I'm working on doing the same thing with The Men of Yoshiwara, get that all done recording, and uh, hopefully that will be done by November 3rd, which is the day Nor 9 comes out. So I'd like to get, you know, that out of the way at least by then. And I'd like to get Code Realize done before Nor 9 starts, but I don't think that's likely. I don't think there's quite enough time for that. I didn't want to spoil it for myself, so I haven't looked into how many alternate endings there are to Code Realize, or how much time it will take to unlock everything. But it seems like... I mean, since it's for PlayStation Vita and, you know, it's one of the more pricey games, I imagine it's going to be longer and won't be a very quick thing to get out of the way. Ideally, in the near future, I'll be back to recording two videos a day again, which will end up being Thief and Nor 9 in the end. Speaking of the importance of getting the new videos out of the way soon, early so that I can get a few views, <laughs> I'm really grateful for all the new subscribers and viewers out there. All the thumbs up and comments have really helped me so much to fuel my video making marathon. I mean, I've been so tired and I can be like so depressed because, I mean, even though I've been, it's, I've been doing pretty good for a new YouTuber, but still, some days it's like, Oh man, it's been hours and I haven't had anything going. I mean, I know it's stupid, but you know, when you're doing so much work, sometimes you want to look and see if any progress has happened. And you know, I'm just torturing myself, but <laughs> still, um, because I torture myself like that, every time I get, you know, the views and the likes and stuff like that, it just helps so much to keep my spirits up and to keep me going. So, I really hope that my narrated videos are helpful and or enjoyable to some of you out there. And uh, I'm trying, I'm uh, working on trying to establish different voices for characters. Uh, that's pretty hard for me, especially when there are so many male characters. They're so rough on my throat. At some point I'd like to take a look at around for some voice effect and voice modulation programs to see if I can use them to tweak my voice a little. For different characters so I'm not being so rough with my voice. That could be fun if there's something out there I can actually use like that, but I'm not really sure if the kind of stuff I need really exists yet or not. But I can check it out. Or if anybody knows something that would be good for me, let me know. It would be great. I'm really trying hard to give the characters decent voices though. I know a lot of people won't like the voices I choose, some of their favorite characters, but I only have so much range and capability with my voice, you know? And even when I get fixed on a voice, sometimes it's hard to uh, get back into that voice when I come back to the character. Maybe I'm not really well suited to this, but I'm trying. Hopefully I'll get better with some time and practice. I have some new audio equipment coming soon too. I've been using the mic from my headset thus far, which is pretty decent, but when I play games with high graphic quality, like Thief, the, the fan makes a lot of noise which triggers my mic, resulting in background static, no matter how I set the noise gate. And even when I try to sit back further, sitting back works for when I'm reading visual novels, 
because they don't have the graphic acceleration, but it doesn't work so well with the other games. Anyway, I wanted to let people know that I'll be starting work on Norn 9 the very day I receive it, which should be November 3rd. If the mail's delayed, though, maybe the 4th, but I don't think it should be any later than the 4th. Because Code realized I think I, I received the day after the release date. So hopefully Norn 9 I'll receive on the release date. But, you know, you can't always tell with the mail. Also, you may have noticed my new banner and icon on YouTube. Uh, that is thanks to my little sister, who is a graphic artist working for a local company here. I think she did a great job, and I totally owe her. And again, a uh, huge thanks to everyone who's watched or is watching, and I hope that some of you will stick with me through this journey and have some fun doing it. But for now, I hope to see you in my future videos, and I'd be so grateful for any likes, comments, subscriptions, or shares with your friends to show some support. Thank you so much for joining me, and I wish you all health, happiness, and safety. They're really signing out. Bye-bye, everybody.